I am uh, the leader of the uh, Machine Learning for Biomedical Research Unit at the Life Sciences Department of the Barcelona Supercomputing Center. And uh, in my group, we uh, use artificial intelligence and machine learning to tackle biomedical questions, with a particular emphasis on the, the role and the impact of artificial intelligence in uh, um, biases, like for instance, sex and gender bias in this kind of technologies. A bias, first of all, is a, a systematic error that can produce a disadvantage for a person, like for instance a, a woman or a man or uh, an intersection uh, of characteristics uh, of, uh, uh, of groups or individuals. And this can be generated by artificial intelligence, so the impact is very high, it can be potentially very high and very harmful, considering also the pervasiveness of these type of technologies in our everyday lives but also in the health system. So there are many different ways uh, in which uh, uh, biases in artificial intelligence can be tackled and uh, mitigated and sometimes even removed. Uh, there are techniques that are rooted in uh, statistics and in machine learning that can help, for instance, understanding what is going on while uh, uh, developing an uh, AI model and uh, understand, for instance, if those uh, biases are emerging in the processing of the data. Um, other ways uh, are also not so technical, but they are like more focusing on the societal implications of, uh, uh, of AI development, especially in, uh, in healthcare. And so possible measures for uh, tackling this problem in the society uh, encompass uh, raising aware awareness, uh, education, training, uh, and uh, uh, things that are more directed to the civil society. An example of uh, biases in artificial intelligence can be found in uh, uh, all those areas in which we, can, uh, we have access to only partial information. Like for instance, in the case of uh, uh, applications uh, that can be used in the realm of cardiovascular diseases, in particular one example uh, uh, can be uh, heart attacks or uh, ictus, uh, for which we, um, we have a lot of information about uh, uh, men, uh, but not so much about, about women. So, of course, uh, we need to collect um, much more information that is uh, like gender s sensitive and, uh, um, uh, and before developing uh, uh, those systems. A crucial step uh, for a research institute to integrate the sex and gender dimension uh, uh, in their activities, including research activities, is uh, uh, education. Uh, so the, the staff of, the, uh, of, a, of an institution uh, needs to be aware about those, uh, um, those aspects and has to integrate uh, this into all the activities of the institute. So as I said, uh, this can be, for instance, students and uh, um, principal investigators, uh, directors uh, 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 that can integrate uh, um, practically um, this uh, into, into their research activities. 